Well, welcome back to Project 613. Today we learn another five mitzvot on the topic of the kosher diet. The first is that it is forbidden for us to eat treif meat. What does treif mean? So many people use the word treif to refer to any meat which is not kosher. But the truth is that treif specifically refers to meat from an animal which has been attacked by another animal and has sustained life-threatening injuries or an animal which has contracted a disease from which it will definitely die within the next 12 months. Such an animal is called trefa, the meat from such an animal, even if it has been shechted, even if it has had a ritual slaughter, is forbidden to us, and this is what's called trefa meat. So a ritual slaughter, a shochet, in addition to being a qualified at performing the act of shechita and knowing the skill and the technique of how to perform the ritual slaughter, also has to be familiar with the full anatomy of an animal and has to become an expert at the various diseases that an animal could contract to know which would be considered treif and which would not. The second mitzvah that we have today is what's called aver minachai. Aver minachai means that it is forbidden for us to eat a limb taken from a living animal. This is considered a cruel behavior and the Torah actually repeats this mitzvah twice. It was first given to all of mankind even before the Torah was given this mitzvah was given to Noah and his children, and it is indeed forbidden for all human beings to eat a limb taken from a living animal. And then this was repeated to the Jewish people after the giving of the Torah a second time. From this mitzvah, we learn the general principle of tsar bale chaim, that it is forbidden to cause any unnecessary harm to any animals. The third mitzvah that we have today is that it is forbidden for us to eat the blood from an animal or from a bird. It's for this reason that part of the process of kosher ritual slaughter is that after the animal is slaughtered, its meat is then soaked and then salted and then rinsed, which helps remove all of the blood. The fourth mitzvah that we have today is that it is forbidden for us to eat chelev. Chelev is certain specific fats which are found on kosher domesticated animals and they have to be removed. It's forbidden for us to eat them. And again, a shochet, a ritual slaughterer, is an expert at knowing which specific fats are considered chelev and are forbidden for us to eat. Many reasons have been given for this mitzvah. Some of them are more practical and have to do with health reasons. Others have to do with more spiritual reasons. Um, one of the reasons that's offered is because it was the part of the animal, the chelev, which was offered on the altar, and therefore it's not appropriate for us to benefit from that part of the animal. The final mitzvah that we learned today is the prohibition against eating the Gid Hanasha, the sciatic nerve of any animal. The Torah tells us the story of when Jacob was attacked by Esau's angel and he was injured on his thigh. And the Torah concludes by saying, Therefore the Jewish people do not eat the sciatic nerve. And Maimonides makes sure to tell us that the reason why it's forbidden for us to eat the sciatic nerve and the reason why we keep this mitzvah is not because of the story that took place with Jacob, but rather because this is a mitzvah that was given to us at Sinai, and therefore we are bound to this prohibition, and it is forbidden for us to eat the sciatic nerve. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.